That's so sweet. Okay, so. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. I just arrived at the fertility clinic and I am about to go check in. Today, I can't even see. Today is my ultrasound, first ultrasound, baseline, blood work, everything. So I just got here. My appointment's in like 10 minutes. So I got here just in the nick of time. So I'm heading in right now. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. So hopefully it's good news. Hopefully everything is squared away and normal and we will be able to continue on with this cycle. Okay, I just got home from the fertility clinic and it went okay. Um, basically what they told me was that my lining was a little bit thinner than normal. So all that that means is that they don't want me, I was supposed to start estrogen tonight and they want me to wait till I get my period. But I already feel like I'm gonna get it. Like I had cramps this morning and usually it comes within a day or two of me getting cramps. So if I don't get it by Monday, I give them a call, but I have a feeling I'll get it tonight or tomorrow, which is when I'm supposed to start the pills anyway. So that's good. And then as long as I don't get a call from them later, then that means I'm good to go. So if like my blood work shows something, they'll give me a call, but it's usually a no news is good news type of situation. So. Hopefully Hopefully I don't get a call from them, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I think my blood work will be normal. But anyways, I just got home and I'm taking this little man <laughs> to the vet this morning. I scheduled him an appointment early this morning because I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. If you do, you saw last night, he sounded like he had something caught in his throat, the way he was coughing. He was cough gagging. It was like he would cough and then go Egh! And like he even spit up a few times, not like anything, just spit, but still. Um, it just worried me. I thought that he had something in his throat at first, but I, I reached my fingers in his throat. I couldn't feel anything. And he's acting completely normal besides that. So he might get kennel cough. Um, he's vaccinated, so he shouldn't, but um, he was at doggy daycare on Wednesday for like four hours. And I'm really hoping that's not where he got it from, if that's what it is, but. Just to be safe, I scheduled him an appointment. Um, it's in a few hours, two hours or so. They're not letting us go in. They're gonna come to my car because they don't want other dogs to get infected if that is what it is, which is fine. And then they'll take me in the back way, but hopefully he's fine. He's acting, like look at this. He's acting completely normal. I took his collar off because if his throat's hurting, he probably doesn't want something on his throat. But anyways, I'm gonna take him in in a few hours and hopefully he's good to go. I'm a little worried about him. He's my little baby. These two. Pets are the best, but pets stress you out, man. I, I literally had a moment last night where I was like, is this what it's like being a parent? Like, I couldn't sleep. I basically woke up every hour during the night to make sure he was breathing. <laughs> and I was like, this is what it's like being a parent. This is stressful. So taking him into the vet soon and I'll feel a lot better about myself once we get there. So anyways, I'm gonna get some work done while we have about an hour before we gotta go. Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Lori, just wanted to let you know that Bo Swanee is here. We're waiting in the car. Okay, I'll be just in, okay? Thank you. Alright, well, I guess you're not sick after all. Get down from there. I guess you're not sick. They checked his lungs, they checked his heart, they said he sounds fine. They are giving me a cough suppressant that if tonight he gets worse again, because it happened at night last night, um, to give to him that would help. But other than that, I think that his throat isn't bothering him, he's eating. If he gets worse, like lethargic or doesn't want to eat, then I bring him back in. But for now, he seems okay. So I probably overreacted having to bring him in. But last night I was really scared, but. He's doing okay. I'm glad I didn't go to the emergency vet and pay $100 just to get seen, but... All right, Bobo, I guess you're all right. Okay, so I just got home from running a few errands and I have a package here that says it's from Sherry's Berries, which I did not order anything. Justin has never sent me anything from there before. So I don't think it's from him, but let's open it and find out. Hopefully this hasn't been here for too long. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Okay, so <laughs> that was so adorable. Okay, so Justin has these two friends that are on the ship that I've been sending packages to because 
they don't have family to, like, well, they do have family, but they don't send too much mail. And they just sent me this card. Here, let me see if it'll focus. It says, Rochelle, thank you so much for all the love and support you've given us this deployment. We're thinking of you and praying you with a few extra rainbow sprinkles for a rainbow baby on our hearts. Love always, Pat and Carrie. They're so sweet. They totally didn't need to do that at all either. I don't do it to get something from them, but let's see what it is. Oh, I got these in the fridge. I hope these haven't been out there for long, but they look so good. Oh my goodness, that was so cute. They have like rainbow sprinkles on them for rainbow baby. But let's get these in the fridge because if these have been out there while I was gone not for an hour, so I want them to get nice and cool. you coughing so I think that we should take one of these pills but I did not ask the doctor how to give them to you so let's see just says to give it by mouth <laughs> I don't think this is gonna go over very well but we're gonna try it oh it's small at least tiny little pill all right he has these tiny little circle shaped snacks and the pill fits right in the middle. So let's see if he'll eat it. Here you go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was like the easiest pill I've ever had to give to a dog. Marley did not used to do that. Marley would spit them out, she knew. But Mr. and Bo, both actually are both pretty good. Okay, you can get out of the trash can, please. Thank you very much. So I just called the vet because this guy is still acting Kind of weird, I don't know if you can tell, he's not so hyped up as normal. Um, don't get that bone, I don't want to, okay, fine. I'm just, um, I'm still worried about him. He seems a little off. He seems like he's having some pain trying to go potty now. Um, so I called the vent and talked to her and she gave me some advice and she said that the cough suppressant that I did give him can make you tired. So maybe he's just acting a little weird because he's tired. Um, but I'm going to keep an eye on him very closely through the night. I probably won't get much sleep again because <laughs> this pup dog is like my world now. And if something ever happened to him, I'd go crazy. So I'm going to keep an eye on him tonight. If he's still acting weird in the morning, then I'll take him back, which I don't want to because I feel like it's going to keep adding up and adding up it's so expensive but i just wanted to be okay he's fine right now he's just chewing on his bone but i don't know i'm just worried i asked if like maybe it was possible that he did eat something and he's having a hard time like um his body like processing through it and like pushing it out but she said that that wouldn't be consistent with the coughing so i don't know i'm just keeping an eye on him my little baby i hope he's doing better in the morning the cough medication is for six hours so It'll be wearing off around 8 o'clock tonight, and we'll see if he's doing better by then. But I'm worried about this little guy. My poor puppy. You should get some video footage of his coughing. I'll try. Bobo. Yes. He just coughed for Granny a few minutes ago, and he, he wouldn't for the vet, yes. Yes. of course. But he's either this high energy running around the room, or laying on the carpet doing nothing. No, so. you need to settle down and get better. You need to settle down. <laughs> settle down. The cough syrup will probably cause him to be a little drowsy, I would assume. My mom said we should borrow her humidifier. Yeah. And that may, it will help his throat. It'll help his cough. It, it helps them get what's in their lungs out. Should we get humidifier? <clears throat> should we? Okay, we'll get one for tonight, maybe. We'll borrow it, huh? Yeah. Calm down. I've got a big one, it'll run all night. All right, Bobo, bye the humidifier. All right, my mom just brought the humidifier over. I'm gonna plug that into our bedroom tonight when we go to sleep. She said when it's full, it should be more than enough. I already lost the lid thing that she was talking about. That it should be more than enough to get through the night. So hopefully that clears his earway, earways, airways. Um, because that's what I read online as well. So hopefully that works. And she brought me dinner because she's the best mom ever, some chicken soup. And maybe I'll give Bo some of the boiled chicken that's in it because it might help his throat too, but I have to go find that because I just lost a piece of it already. 
You seem to be feeling a little bit better now. I gave him a little bit of watered down chicken broth and some plain boiled chicken and he ate it, which is good because the vet just said as long as he's eating, that's a good sign. So he ate and he drank some of the broth too. I got the humidifier and now I feel like I can breathe a little bit more. And you guys saw probably when I was running errands earlier, I went here, I wanna show you guys what I got. <laughs> so cheesy but I honestly love them they're from the pink line of Victoria's Secret they're little cactuses with the Santa hat I don't know if you guys watch um, Jared and Ellie but Ellie has the donut ones I saw those there too they are cute but I thought these ones were so <laughs> freaking cute and they're thermal which is why I got them because I'm going to Seattle this month for Thanksgiving and it's freaking cold there for someone who's used to um, SoCal weather so I wanted warm pajamas and these are so warm and they're so freaking cute and I know they're Christmassy super early Early, but I want to wear them as long as I can and I love them. They're so warm. They're so cute They're so cute. I kind of want all of them But the only reason I got them today because they're super expensive The only reason I got them is because I had a coupon and they gave you back a $20 gift card today If you spent $40, so it's basically like I saved 30 to $40 30 to $40 so pretty good price, but they're so cute. Do you think so? What do you think? Are you back to being weird again? You are making mom very uncomfortable. All right, time to have one of these strawberries. My mom took one. Ooh, let's try it. No, you can't have it. <laughs> this one is chocolate with little drizzle. So good. I didn't ever get a call from the doctor, so I'm assuming I'm good to start meds as soon as I start my cycle. And with that, I'm going to end the vlog for the night. I am so tired and I'm drained because this dog is stressing me out. So hopefully tomorrow when you hear from me, we'll know that Bo is back at his 100%. That's my goal, make him feel as good as possible. So we will talk to you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.